Okay, no, that one is for our pastor. Daddy, that hallelujah is for you. That hallelujah did not get to heaven. If you know you are happy and you are sure to be alive, you made it to the last Sunday in the month of October 2022. Somebody give Jesus a, a shout! Okay, it almost got to heaven. But God said they didn't really do it well. He got to heaven, but not sent it back. So we are going to take it one more time. Do I have true believers, true worshippers in the house this morning? Do I have true worshippers? You are sure that you are grateful and God has been faithful to you. For the last time, give Jesus a resounding shout! All right, in that same atmosphere, let's begin to worship the name of the Lord. Let's begin to exalt his holy name. Let's begin to adore him. He's worthy of our praises. He's worthy of our worship. Come and lift up your hands. Uh. Lift up your hands. Uh. Is Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Rafaka, the I am that I am, the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shakina, Gani Ganiti Ayen Saya, Olawa Babara, Bobile Jesse, O Baladi Alafia, Lord we worship you. Lord we exalt your holy name. See, the Bible says in John 4, 23, it says the time is coming and it has now come when the true worshippers will worship God in truth and in spirit for such worshippers do this Father seek for. It's looking like God has not been faithful to most of us. He's a man that never sleeps nor slumber, but he watches over those that sleep and slumber. Akalebo shendele kuza balayede. E makia nana nuza balayede. Yele kosa. E makala badado shendele koso ya da 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 da. See, don't wait for the song, but begin to glorify His holy name. Father, I love you. Father, I love you. I long to see your face. I long to see your face. E bako shendele kuya. Make <laughs> More left for all. I will go more more left for I more left for all. more left for I be okay. Hey, it's a shower. Want to cool, want to love. Hey, it's a shower. Oh, let
I'm so happy with the way people are worshiping God this morning. I, in fact, I'm joyful. I'm joyful for you. God has kept you alive. You think it's because you are more beautiful, you are more faithful. The Bible says it is not of him that will let or run it, but of the Lord that showeth mercy. So if you like, run from here to America. If the Lord does not show mercy on you, you are gone. See, even the angels still now, they cry, God, 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 why are you so mindful of these people? I don't understand. Wretched people like us, and the Lord still shows us what? His mercy. In fact, I'm so joyful with the way you're worshipping this God. Ha! Hey, Kadabosh. I will not be silent. I will always worship you and down up beside me In front of my men, you were all the mothers. You were all the somebody say I'll put you in front. I'll put you in front. In front of my melody. Hey. Somebody rejoice. You are Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Opa, go follow me. Opa, go follow me. Oh, what's it about that show? Oh, Jamie, Lord, you. Oh, what's it about that show? Oh, yeah, me, Lenu. Baba, oh, no, 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 we are not dancing no okay look at your neighbor look at your neighbor this is what you tell your neighbor oh good don't you go call everybody it's okay ah bring it down bring it down I just have two more minutes. We are very cold, though. Ah, oh my God. Is this paining me? Is somebody ready to dance? Yes. Look at that level again. I bought to I bought. Oh, to go, call everybody, it's okay. So, if I'm over, I'm over here. 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 setting of the same your name is to be hallowed Adonai from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed Somebody sing, I don't know. Setting of the same, your name is to be alone. Somebody sing, I don't know. Somebody sing, I don't know. 
Somebody lift up your voice this morning and begin to worship Jesus. I want you to open your heart to Jesus this morning and exalt Him. Appreciate Him for the privileges, for the opportunities He has gathered unto you and I. Lift up your voice and worship Jesus. Thank Him for the privilege He has given unto you. So, see the last Sunday in the month of October. This Sunday will never come again in this year 2022. It will never come. Thank Jesus for giving you such a privilege, for giving you life, for giving you joy and hope. Thank Him for giving you opportunity to be a, a living soul. Many are in the grave beyond, but you are alive. You are a living soul this morning. Thank God for your family. Thank you for your family. Thank you for your businesses, for your jobs. Thank you for everything you have done. Ashaka Baragadele Bosch. In Paragadala Balede Bosch. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We're going to be praying a word praise prayer this morning and a faith based prayer. Jeremiah chapter 11, chapter 1, sorry. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Verse 12. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. I am what? Ready to perform my word. I heard the word clearly during the week when I was, I was just communicating. And the Lord said, I will esteem my word to perform it. But before you can perform it, you must see it. Because what you don't see, you cannot seize. So I want us to see some things this morning, but you have to see it first. I, I don't know what you are seeing about November. I don't know what you are seeing about the next coming month. But I want you to declare this morning, whatever you are going to see, you want to see in the month of November, begin to declare it by faith. Begin to declare those words, those things you want to see by faith. Because when you see it, the Lord said, I will esteem my word to perform it. Lord, in the month of November, as I approach November, I want to see greater things. Somebody open your mouth and pray this morning. I see opportunities. I see breakthroughs. I see a lifting. I see a rising. I see healing. I see promotions. I see open doors. I see moving forward. In Kataka Balepotosh, a Sakapa Reye de Devosha, for Shatakaba, be a prophet over your destiny this morning. Yangaleke Boretia Shada, in Bragadeleke Devoshakaba, a Shapa Baba Katom, in Ragadele Bele Devosh, a Malekatesh. Lord, I seize every opportunity. I seize every promises that the word of God has spoken concerning my life. I seize it. I seize and I seize it. I Shada Radanaba, Rekapekate Alabosh, in Pakaparia. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, He said, I will give you hidden treasures of the secret places. There are treasures in the secret place, treasures that God wants to give. But until you see it, you cannot seize those treasures. Pastor was teaching us on Wednesday, and he said, He said, There are some of our possessions in the hand of the devil. You must collect it from them. If you don't collect it, they will just, you know, they will waste it. Lord, every of my possession in the hand of the enemy, every of my right in the hand of the enemy, Lord, today I see it and I seize it from them. I take hold of it. I, I claim what rightfully belongs to me. Is somebody pray this morning? I claim what is mine. Shapaka Tayaba. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I claim my possession. Man deketesh. Man takabarakatesh. If you have stayed long on that thing, you have stayed long on that situation, it is time to move forward. It is time to emerge. It is time. Lord, I seize every opportunity that I've been deprived of for many years. I see it and I see it this morning. Shabakatagadabalebos, Rabababa Katesh, Ragedele Beliato Saka, 
imprakete maradabo shampala badash eko paria dadabash derebo ya kapare dedeba kandelebo man pakaya dadebash rababa baba dedebo shidararados ya kaparades embroko pokoto ya labada rababa baba bash derederes in jesus mighty name we are prayed finally before i hand over the mic to the next person you know when somebody tells you that he doesn't see anything about your life don't 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 argue with that person don't do what don't argue when somebody is not seeing something about your life don't argue with that person you know there's a limit to what a blind man can see eh? there's a limit to what a blind man can see bible says eyes have not seen yes i've not heard it has not got into the heart of man the things with god has prepared for they that love him so you must see it if nobody is seeing it you must see it see it what through the scripture i want to quote the pastor pastor quoted it. i mean he has never mentioned it before he said the the future that you have not captured from the scripture you cannot feature in it you need to capture it from the scripture what is the word saying about this thing it is not what the world is saying lord what is the word saying concerning my life the word what is the word saying he said i will esteem my word to perform it father in my life what your word has spoken concerning my life esteem your word this morning to perform it in my family esteem your word to perform it everything you've spoken concerning my life concerning my destiny concerning my career esteem your word this morning to perform it somebody lift up a voice and pray this morning esteem your word to perform it Let's see your word to perform it. Let's see your word to perform it. Somebody pray this morning. Let's see your word to perform it. Paris Koto Shapa. Mambrekete Sheke Barriarosa. Mam Paris Katosha. Erapan Teke. Rapapakatayala. Esha Baba 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 Bash. Mamba Katesh. Let's see your word to perform it. Everything you've spoken concerning my life. Oh Lord, let's see your word to perform it. Let's see your word in my life. I see your word to perform it. I see, I see a manifestation. I see a manifestation in my life, in my family, in your church. I see a manifestation. I see your word, Lord, in my life to perform it. In the name of Jesus, I see your words. Mande koshakapa, rambadara baba babosha, ikapa yararosh, mambaradosh. But in Jesus' name, we've prayed. In that same atmosphere, I want you to have your seat. As to worship God this morning with our song. So I would like to take my my example or an instance from the life of Job. You know, Job lost everything his children, his cattles, everything Job lost it and even his wife was like Job, you can play his wife said cause God now and die and he said no what did he say, what was the reply to the wife what was the reply to his wife okay, he said no I will wait until my redemption comes so what am I trying to say this morning I want you to surrender all to God with holding nothing I want you to know that God is the owner of everything and anything that you have acquired. Nothing belongs to you but God. If God did not permit those things into your hands, you would not have it. So I want you to surrender all to him this morning as we bless his name. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you my love my life it all belongs to you belongs to you lift up your voice to say my heart, my mind, my soul, say. My heart, my heart, my mind, my mind, my mind, my soul belongs to you. My love, my love, my life, my life, they all, all belong to you. Belong. 
belongs to you. Belongs to you. Yes, she does. I give it all over. Hey, belongs to you, God. Belongs to you. Now the second verse, let's go. The song that we sing. The song we sing. Oh. The song we sing. We sing. They are. You are seated. I want you to worship the name of the Lord. I want you to lift up your hands in adoration. The air that you breathe belongs to God. The song that you sing belongs to you. Belongs to you. Belongs to you. I give it all over there. Belongs to you, God. Belongs to you. Now we're going to surrender unto him. Are you ready to surrender? Everybody say yeah. Yeah. I surrender to already do i have your heart connected to the holy spirit this morning do i have your worship connected to god this morning i want you to surrender all just like job did he gave it all he gave it all you know he did not acquire anything by himself you know he did not get anything by his will i want you to surrender 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 to the will of the master lift your voice and say The Lord is about to speak to somebody now. Until you know that everything that you have belongs to God. I, I don't know what else you are looking for. I want us to take this part slowly. It all belongs to you. Somebody hear me. Oh, it all belongs to God. It doesn't belong to your wife. My soul belongs to you. Not your papa lawo. Oh, 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 it all belongs to you. Hey, everything that I have belongs to you. Even my soul belongs to you. Even my body belongs to you. Even the money belongs to God. Even the life belongs to God. Even your soul belongs to God. Come be quiet. It all, it all belongs to you. Just take it calmly. Say, oh, hey. 
God, lift up your hands like this, say. It all belongs to you, God. In my paradise, it can't be the best. In the lacosa, in the lacalieda, na na na, in the lacuya, God, the bazandelie, ya. In my paradise, na na na, in the lacata, the lacosa, in the lacade. Emma he all belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh. Can you lift up your hands to the Lord? Can you surrender your mind to Him at this time? Lord, we surrender to you this morning. Lord, we surrender to you. Surrender yourself to God this morning. I said, Father, my heart belongs to you. My faith belongs to you. My life belongs to you. Yes. Lift up your hands to him. I said to him this morning. I said, Father, my life belongs to you. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give ourselves to you today. We say to you that all belongs to you. Everything that we have belongs to you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you know all belongs to Jesus, let your amen sound like thunder. You know, I told all sometimes last week, that the most expensive thing in this world is not a car. The most expensive thing in this world is not a house. It's not a smart house. The most expensive thing in this world cannot be a cloth. And the greatest prayer point can never be that you need a house. The greatest prayer point can never be that you need a husband. The greatest prayer point that any man or any woman or any lady or boy should have that there should be breath. Breath is the most expensive thing in the world. If you visit a hospital, you will discover that even oxygen that they have to give someone, it should be around 15,000. I'm not sure. But the last time it was around that price. But you got a breath without an oxygen. You live without anybody. No life support. The life support that you have is Jesus. Come on, celebrate him. It's the only life support that you have. You know something? I have come to discover something. That people don't appreciate something. You don't. <laughs> you will not be in an hospital. So that that will not now be the reason for your. That will not cause you to say I want to praise God. Or you want to thank God for breath. Thank you. Can we appreciate the pray, your worship team? God has been faithful. Do I, do I have people in the house that you know God has been faithful to you? I wanted to say, Father, thank you for breath. Wait, that prayer point, is it worth praying? Can you say, Father, 
Thank you for breath. Can you go ahead and talk to God? I said, Father, he did not only give you breath. He gave it to your child. He gave bread to your husband. He gave bread, breath to everyone around you. He deserves the praise. Oh, Shadaba. Thank you, Father. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you for breath. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. My time is short, but I have a lot of assignment today. So while I was there worshiping God, I saw, listen, because we need to pray. I saw a strange image. I follow somebody to service today, but they will cast fire. Say, I have a short time, and I also need to do this assignment. Any strange thing that follow you to today's service. You see, it, it came like a very ugly old man. They will cast fire. I thought your amen would be louder. You know what God said? He said he has been following this particular person for a long time. But because he has followed you to the house of God, you will not go out with them. Say a loudest amen. Can you say, oh Lord, my father. I thought you were ready. Say, oh Lord, my father. Every strange image following me to the service today. Father, let them cast fire. Open your mouth and talk to God. Open your mouth. Some of you think we are joking. You are joking. You are joking. Pray. Strange creature that follow anyone to this place. Pray, pray. If only your eyes can be open. If only you can see they have been following you for a long time. They have come to a place that have no return. I say, Father, let them cast fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout the loudest. Amen. You are going to shout Holy Ghost fire seven times. You see, this strange thing will not go back with you. Let your amen sound like fire. Let your amen sound like fire. Okay, let me quickly tell you this. First day of the month of November is our worship and prophecy. Make sure you don't miss it. It's a time to pray into November. You see, people don't settle November when they enter. They settle before they enter. You will not start praying in the middle of November when some people have taken possession of it. So it's the first day of the month. And it's going to be on Tuesday, this Tuesday. Make sure you come to come and settle the month of November. You are going to shout. You see, that's the same. Why I was studying. It was so ugly that I can't describe. And the Lord said, that's been following this person. I know the person, no. But you know, today is Sunday. We need to gentle. I don't want to disturb anybody. Amen. Amen. But on Tuesday, it's going to be fireful. So don't miss it. But you know what? Because you are in service today, Afamo, you know what it's called? Afamo? Afamo? Attachment. You see? Attachment. They didn't make them with you. But the issue of life has made them to attach to you. Whatever God has not made that is attached to your destiny. If your amen can be louder, I detach them today. I said they are detached today. In the name of Jesus. You are going to shout fire several times. And say every ugly creature that has been following me. Cast fire today. Shout Holy Ghost for yourself. I want to go. Holy Ghost. I thought you were so better. Shout it better. Ah, yeah, da, 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 da. Open your mouth and talk to God. Every attachment, every ugly creature, every demon attached to my destiny. Abarakata Yagada. I detach you by fire. 
I detach you by fire. I detach you by fire. Are you praying? Are you are looking? Are you praying? Are you are looking? Ella Shabakata Yagada. Say to your destiny. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up your right hand to the Lord. I decree. I'm praying now by the authority in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is not meant to be with you, every demonic assistant, every you see that so oh Lord, I really don't want to do this one now because we need to run off. You see, there's someone here. You are being oppressed in your dream, and it has been constant. Every power oppressing anyone in the dream here. I said decree, they fall by fire. I said they fall by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression. There is a lady here. You are saying you wish to give up on life. You want to give up on life. You don't understand life anymore. During, during this week, you thought of giving up. You said you are tired. I stand in the name of Jesus. That power fighting your life. That want to end your life. The Lord silence them by fire. Every demonic assistance. Every demonic oppression. Every demonic monitoring. That they have been following you everywhere you go. The fire of God consumed them now. I, I said they are consumed by fire. I said they are consumed by fire. I said they are consumed by fire. My Lord and my Father, anywhere you can hear three resounding amen, let that attachment be broken by fire. Put your hands together for Jesus. You can please take your seat. Like I said earlier, Tuesday is going to be fire full. We need to prepare for November. And you know what? Life is not fun fair. Life is a warfare. Those that are not ready to war are not going to make anything good out of life. So hail your friends and family. Make sure they are around for Tuesday. November is going to be a wonderful month. Who is the person that is going to share testimony first? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. All right, with the short time I have, we have to conclude what we started right from the beginning of this month, and that is the issue of temperament. We have to put it together. Whether we like it or not, we need to pause. We need to end it today so that we can look at something else, something good the Lord has in stock for us for the month of November. How many of you have been blessed so far with temperament, study of temperament? If you know you have been blessed, you have been putting them to action, you have been taking time to watch yourself, you have been taking time also to work on yourself. We have two more to go, and the first one we are going, I'm going to mention out of what we can remember. Today, we are going to go into melancholy. We are going to go into melancholy and it's important i told us maybe you are joining this service for the first time or you have not been around we have been treating temperament understanding temperament and i made to i i, I made god made us to understand that there is a need for us to understand our build how god wired us every man is wired with strength and every man is wired with weakness and there's something that is also important. As long as you are in this world, you are not created to be isolated. No man is created by himself or by herself. You are not created by yourself. And nothing any man can achieve by himself. In other words, we will need each other to survive. As long as you are in this world, you will need people around you. You will need people to work with. You are going to marry a people, not animal. You are going to have children. You are going to do business with people. You are going to have friends that are human beings. You are going to be doing things with human beings. 
And if you are going to be doing things with human beings, there is a need for us to understand ourselves and also to understand the people around us so that we can have a better relationship. Many have lost opportunity because they don't have an understanding of their friends. Marriages are in crisis because the man does not understand the husband, the wife. The old wife does not understand the man. Friendship have been in crisis just because there is a lack of understanding of temperament. And that is why we have been on this journey for all about four Sundays now. And we are going to be concluding by where as we look at the two. And we are looking at melancholy. And who are these beautiful creature they are wonderful set of people that god made they are very neat and arranged people i know they are in church when you see them they are always looking neat hardly will you sit with them beside you hardly will you sit beside them in the bus and their body will be smelling they are always neat they are not dirty they are not lazy they are arranged people they are people that like to to put their things they, if they put a thing somewhere, they want to meet that thing the way they put it even in 100 years time. They are very arranged people. They don't like disorganized. Hey, sanguine people may not be able to stay, uh, stay well with such people because they are always arranged and they are very organized. What are their strengths? I'm only going to be mentioning five of this because of our time. How they show love. If you know this individual called melancholy, you are probably not noticed that they express themselves with action rather than words. They don't talk too much. They are very emotional. They are wonderful creature that God made because of the way they are wired. They are not likely to express love verbally. They are emotionally person. They instead, they show love and affection by depending and reliable on them. And by doing thoughtful things for the people they care for. Very emotional self, set of people, the creation. They don't always want anyone around them to, to be down. They always want to uphold someone. They show love to people number two they are very they are they, they are they, they they are very good in analyzing naturally they don't have issue with figures if you ask a melancholy what is 100 plus two four thousand before you know it they will give you the answer they don't have issue with figures they are very smart with figure and very intellectual who will not need a melancholy in his life or her life? Somebody that is always good in figure. And you know something about them because they are, they are good in analyzing. They see, they have a foresight to see a project ahead of time. They can see the way a project will end even before the project starts. They have a foresight. They can, pro they can project into the future. They are views. They view a situation and problem from all sides. From all sides. They won't look at one side when they are were confronted with one problem or situation. They look at all sides before they now make their conclusion. This makes them very effective in problem solving because they look at issues from both sides. So they are very good in problem solving. May God give you a melancholy. You did not say amen. And if you are one, may God bless you. I'm sure you will like their strengths, but get ready for their weaknesses too. You know something about life? If you, every woman being is an asset, it's also a liability. So if you take my asset, get ready to take my liability. When husband and wife said, you will be the wife, you will be my bone of my bone, you will be the flesh of my flesh. That is why in our church, I am, at least I'm sure of my church, they have not changed the marriage vow. You know, in churches now, they will say, for, don't say for better, for worse. But the truth of the matter, there will be a better time and there will be a worse time. And they say, you are saying it in faith. Say it in faith, but there is reality. 
So if you tell it's going to be for better, they will also tell you it's also going to be worse sometime. So if you are taking, don't love me for my assets, love me for my liability. So if you are taking love about me, love me also when you take my liability. People love people only good when they have things to offer. But let me tell you, at least from this study, you have come to understand there is no perfect man anywhere. Every man is with liability, also melancholy. Another thing about them is that they are perfectionists. They all, you know, because they arrange people, like I said earlier, if they put this handkerchief here, when they come 10 years' time, they want to meet it there. When you enter their room, you will always see them, everything arranged. They are perfectionists. They don't make mistakes. And they don't like people to make mistakes around them. They, are, they have a specific idea of a perfect situation. The perfect way of doing things, they have it. You see, when a melancholy enter this place, he will see, even in our own eye, that we have done, we have arranged this altar very well. But when a melancholy enter here, he will say, ah, this flower is not supposed to be here. This flower should be somewhere. That is who they are. They are very organized and perfectionist. They tend to set incredible high standard for themselves and others. They, are, they, 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 pressure, they pressure themselves to do very well because of their nature. They don't, get, they don't get satisfied with mundane things. What somebody will say and say, hey, I have achieved, but melancholy will say, no, this is not yet where I'm going. When they beat a new record, they will tell themselves, oh, I need to set another record. Perfectionist. When they have a new job and they are collecting like, they are collecting 100,000, they'll say, no, no, no. There must be somebody that is collecting higher. I want to meet that person. They are perfectionists. They don't, do, they don't, they don't, do, they don't sit down on small things. They always look ahead of time. And number four, they are very loyal. Romantic in relationship. And loyalty must be earned. And but once you earn their loyalty, when once you there are one set of people that when you do something for them, they can give you the whole of their life. They can give they can submit their life to you. But you know what? Make sure you don't touch that part that they give to you. Because if you do, they may not come to you for the rest of their life. They are very hard to forgive. I'll go, I'll get there. They don't forgive easily. That's why when they give themselves to you, they commit everything. You see, if a melancholy said, I'm going to be with you till you die, they will be with you, they will die. They are always loyal. But make sure when they give you their heart to write on it, don't damage it. Because they may not come back again. You see, you can only disappoint a melancholy one once. They won't give you the second opportunity to disappoint them the second time. Which is not Christian. We'll get there. But let me tell you, they can go extra mile for anyone they love. They are like the people that went extra mile for David. When David said, I need them to drink this water. They are very loyal. They will always be there for you. They will always stand by you. They are comfortable. Number five, they are comfortable with routine. You know, you know, I said they are very good in an analysis. They are good with figures. They prefer to be doing the same time. They are very good in doing routine. If you want to say, okay, no, I don't want to, one professional profession is coming to my mind, but I don't want to mention it. You know, they just want to do this. When you come back the next day, you get to the office, it's the same thing that you do. Nothing changed. Menacoli are very good. Weaknesses about these wonderful people. They have a mood swings. They can be happy now, but in the next two minutes, they are looking and you'll be asking, was it not the same person that is laughing the other time? They are the same person. That is their weakness. They are good today. In the next minute, they are looking down. They move from one mood to another. They are not stable with their emotion. 
You see why it's dangerous? Like I used to tell brothers and sisters, you better, when you said to us, I said, Pastor, I have feelings for that guy. May you not make melancholy that day. May the guy you say you have feelings for is not melancholy. Because the day you are having that feelings, feelings is built by emotions. I hope you know that. Feelings has to do with what they are doing now. And if you have a feelings for a melancholy that have not been handled by Holy Ghost, maybe that time that your feeling came is the time that he was happy. In a few minutes time, you'll see the same man. I say, ah, it was it the same man? That's why you don't build and you don't make decision on feelings. The scripture said, be led by the spirit, not by feelings. Because feelings is not stable. Feelings is like melancholy weakness. They are not stable. They are good today. And in the next week, they will just remember something and their mood will change. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let the melancholy in the house shout hallelujah. All right. Thank God you are getting to know yourself. Another good thing or bad thing about them is that they can be selfish. This is another major weakness of the, of the melancholy temperament. That they are always neg neg negatively affect their relationship with others. That it always affects. Many melancholy are extremely selfish, are self-centered. And they do not realize this since they often confuse selfishness with being considerate. That's one of their issues. The Holy saying that selfishness is the see selfish is that to see selfishness they see it as you are not being considerate let me move fast they are very hard to satisfy you know why because of their eye perfectionist they are perfectionists so to satisfy such people you will have to go extra mile daddy if your wife is a melancholy hear this you will do extra work to satisfy her it's not demon you just need to walk around it. Because some men, I'll say, this woman, are you a demon? Is she not? Can you see that when some of you will say, okay, I want to understand this girl before I you are deceiving yourself. Some people will say, well, let us test ourselves on bed. Test what on bed? You say, I hope you know that no technology can change the standard of God. Every sexual, every sexual thing you do before marriage is a sin. And all sin will end up where? Say it. You say it. You can't say you're afraid. If you are, no, you know you are not doing it. Say it. Uh -huh. Whether you say it or not, it's hellfire. Amen. So there's nothing like I want to test it. They are very hard to satisfy. You are doing everything, but because they are perfectionists, you have to work extra to manage them. They have trust issue. I think I said that earlier Earlier on. They really trust people and always afraid that others that they have trusted, that build, that, that destroy their trust, also don't allow them to give trust to somebody else. So they are very hard to trust because they don't want somebody to do what somebody did to them again. Yeah, but you know something. You know, I know my mother used to say, Tia bad did you key in the koja? I'm even lost now. Oh, you know it, amen. What he's trying to say is that you don't close your eyes because of the past experience. If you do that. When good person is coming, you will not know. So somebody may have done something terrible to you before. That doesn't mean that everybody is the same. Melancholy in the house, give room for people. And I know God will bless you. They don't forgive easily. I think I have said that. The first offense, they will ignore. First offense like this, they will ignore and they will quit. So it's hardly for them to forgive. I need to move fast. The best career for them, you know, because they are very good in number, business management. The best career. Number two, they are good in writing books. They are author. Most of the authors 
And I'm not talking about authors of two books. I'm talking about several books. Most of the authors are melancholy. Then number three, they are good in research and development. Number four, they are songwriter, music composers. They are very good in composing. They can sit down and they will start composing. You know, some of you that don't know, we say, ah, you are competing with them. I say, ah, you, what did you get this? You don't understand. That is their own. They can just sit down. They are writing. They are very oron, oron, you understand. It's their nature. And if somebody wants to compete with them, your trouser will tear. It's their nature. They are very good in writing. And they are art. They are good in art and crafting things. They are very good in that. They can go, they can write, they can draw in because they are patient. Because whoever that will be dealing with numbers must be a patient person. You understand what I'm saying? They are very good in heart. And I will go now to the last of the temperament, which is phlegmatic. They are faithful, committed, and loyal. This is one of the best of them. I say one of the best because I have one as my soulmate. Amen. My wife is a phlegmatic and I really bless God for that. She's not a choleric like me. I really bless God. You know, I said it last week, if God give you a choleric like you, the house will scatter. The home will be in trouble. So they are faithful and committed. They are loyal to the core. They are very quiet. They are very calm. You cannot easily offend them. They talk slowly. They are very supportive. And I'm going to mention five things. They are, are steady. They are not someone that moves from one place to another. A person who has phlegmatic as a friend we do well also in life. They are extremely stable and focused on whatever they are doing. If they want to achieve something, they are stable with it. They are not the one. They are in church today. They are in this church today. They are in another church tomorrow. If they said this is their church, they will stay there and they are loyal to it. They are highly, number two, they are highly patient. If you know my wife, my wife is a highly patient person. Amen. Amen. They are highly patient. They don't cause trouble. Which makes them great in focus because they are patient. That will help them to analyze things before they, they take... They don't rush in decision making. They can stay on decision on a matter for a very long time. Because they don't want to make mistake. It can be a strength. It can also be a weakness. They have this amazing sense of being stuck to one thing. They can stick on one thing and they can stay on that thing for a long time. Number three, they are less worried. They don't have BP. Most of them don't have BP because they worry less. You know, things that I will say, hey, hey, what is happening there? Let's get this thing. They don't know. We will do it. We will do it. Hey, we will do it. Okay. Let's do it now. Me, I'm an action I say, now let's do it. Because I believe that do it now and let's move to another thing. But they will say no. If we do it now, let's go and see. If we do it now, they don't want to do repair. So that is why they take, they take their time. I say let's, let's take time. So they don't, they don't worry. Hardly will you see them with IBP. I'm telling you. In fact, some of them, you know, they have you know, there is another dimension to BP. If you high, it's not good. If it's also low, it's also not good. So the, the personality has a calm and collected aura. They are calm and collected. They make good parents. They are very good. They, are very, they can be a very good father, a very good mother. You know, that's why when me, I'm saying, get it done. I say, no, let's do it this way. As I'm raking on the children, my wife will say, okay, okay, come. 
If somebody is a lion, somebody must be a lamb. Everybody can't be a lion. Amen. Because even as Jesus was a lion of the tribe of Judah, he's also a lamb. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. They are strong spiritual leaders. Then what are their weaknesses? They are introverts. The personality is highly introvert by nature, which makes it tough for others to take them out of their comfort zone. Before you can take them from their comfort zone, it will take time. Let's do this one. We are done with this. It's always time, which is also not good. Because while you are spending, the time the world is not waiting for everybody. So you can't spend on things too long. You have to do it and move. So to take them out, you know, they always want to be, they are the ones that always want to be in their room. They don't want to talk to people. They don't like talking to people. They just want to be on their own. But if you don't talk to people, you are in your house. How will contract come? How will you get that business? So it's also not a good one. They do what is required. They don't go extra. If you say this is, put this thing here, that's where they will put it. Even though the person that said put it here is not saying that it's wrong. But because you have said put it there, that's the way they will do it. Number three, they can be stubborn. Hey, Amen. I understand that part. They look calm, but they can be very stubborn. It is what in their heart they will do. It. Saying it, say it from morning to night is what Hello there. They look up. We warmly welcome you all, especially our first time worshippers, with love and joy. This is Upper and Baptist Church. Do it. It is not true. So you can say a lot, you can say things for a lot Hello of there. They can be stubborn and they hide themselves. They don't like holding microphone standing before people they always want to keep to themselves and lastly they are selfish and they can be lazy my wife is not lazy only goes has changed it hey man i'm telling you if you enter my house you will know so they can be lazy and that is the part of the holy spirit best career they can they are good in teaching because they are patient they can be patient with children See, if you throw somebody like melancholy to children's class, hmm, you will discover that those children will tell you, Mommy, we are not going to that school again. Or we are not going to that church again. They are patient in teaching. And they are, can be good. Another thing they are good, they, are doc, they can be good for medical things. They can be doctor, they can be, they can be surgeon because of their way. They are very calm. You want to make a sanguine doctor. He will laugh and forget, what do they call it? Scissors inside somebody's belly. They will play and they will forget. But phlegmatic are very patient. They will take their time. And they are very good in administrative things. They are the secretary. Very good. They will order everything. Everything. Pam, pam, pam. Not somebody like us. They are good in personal management. They can manage human beings. They are the HR. They can tell you that this is what you should be doing. They are peaceful nature and ability to relate with people. People can trust them with their issues. Because they are patient. Rarely being, but often try to easily resolve any issue within with their personal management so they are always good in resolving issues amen hallelujah so you can see as we conclude this this temperament i'm moving fast because of our time is there how many have we mentioned now can somebody mention them uh-huh okay can i ask you have you discovered yourself Okay, there's, there's this question. Somebody said, oh, is it possible for me to have two of this? See, when you look at your life, you may be having two or three more than two, even trace of this in your life. 
But the most important thing to know that where you belong is the one that have the dominant part in your life. So you can be seeing some traces. You know, some people say, ah, Pastor, you can't, you can't, you can't be a cholera. You are a sanguine. Yes. But I, I know that I have a part. It is possible you have a part of this temperament in, part in your life. But where you major is who you are. So have you discovered yourself in all this? Have you noticed that you belong to any of these four? Then you can also see that any of these four has weakness, also has strength. And in dealing with the weakness, that is where the place of Holy Spirit come in. In dealing in the weakness. Because see, don't say that that is the way you are born. Somebody will say, in our family, this is our, this is us. Yes, in your family, that may be you, but that doesn't mean you can't work on it. You can be born with it. You are not permitted to die with it. So even if that is your weakness, those weaknesses are you. You have them. Then you also need to see it in working on your weakness. You know, some say, uh, we are like that, and that is how we... No! You are going to damage a lot of things. You are going to lose people opportunities will be passing over you will miss them don't say we don't struggle for things you will be on you hunger will suffer you say, ah, we just want to stay in the room how, how many of you you sit in the room that's where money come so you can't do well so you sometimes you have to move from where you are and that is where the place of holy spirit that is why that that is why temperament must be a spirit control temperament. You don't allow the weaknesses of temperament of your temperament to dominate you. And the only way that will not be done is where there is Holy Spirit. The presence of Holy Spirit will give back to the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit is what we have been considering where in the what? Workers prayer meeting. So when you have the Holy Spirit, it helps you to walk on those weaknesses. Holy Spirit is not lazy. I hope you know that. So you can't say, my, my temperament is a lazy one. Now you stay there. Hunger will kill you. The proof of the book of Proverbs said, a little what? A little sleep. Then what happened? Eh? Is leading to poverty. So what are we saying as we bring this to a close? Every weakness can be handled by Holy Spirit. And the only way Holy Spirit can help you is when you allow him to fill you. And Holy Spirit will fill you when you are a dirty person. Holy Spirit cannot help you if you are not submitting your life to him. He is always looking for somebody to help. He's always looking for somebody to handle. He doesn't want you to lose that profit, divine relationship. He doesn't want you to mess up your marriage. He doesn't want you to lose some good friends. He doesn't want you to lose business opportunities. Somebody will say, hey, that is the way I talk. Oh, don't talk. The way you talk, if they can't be married, it's going to destroy you. So you have to mind the way you talk. Because what you consider in your own family as good way, in somebody's family that you are going to be relating with is an offense, is an abomination. And you are not dealing with animals, you are dealing with human beings. It's people that you are dealing with. And somebody thinks that it's not enough, it's not important to study how to relate well in your place of work. And that is the work that Holy Spirit has come to do for us. Though we are human, but there is a supernatural part that the Holy Spirit is going to bring on the table. There is a place, Holy Spirit, empowering you that people won't even see your weakness. When you want to manifest in any of those temperament weakness, Holy Spirit will just tell you, yes, though is in you, but I have, have come to feel you, so you can't manifest anymore. And that is what Holy Ghost has come to do. 
he has come to help you and if it's going to help you you have to surrender yourself to him you have to say god this is dealing is killing me it's not helping me i'm losing things many are running away businesses are not coming you have to surrender yourself to him and say lord i leave myself for you to handle i'm not talking about people that gave their life to christ on the altar and went back to the altar to pick up their life no i'm talking about people that say lord i submit my life for you on the altar to be the one in charge you know will say you have to give your life to christ accept him as your lord and savior many accepted him as savior not as lord you know what is called lord the one that is lord over you will be the one in charge of your life will be the one to control your life who controls your life is your lord if sins control your life sin is your lord if your friend is the one controlling your life is your lord whoever control your life is your lord and but jesus is saying i want to be the controller of your life can you come so that i can help you he said i am here to help you but if it's going to help you you have to surrender you have to give yourself to him you have to say i give myself away so have god i submit myself on the altar of god so that i can have more of god so that my life will be better how long will you live this way how long will you walk this way how old are you now how old will you be in the next two years where are your mates where are they where are they where what are they doing but you are still sitting on your weakness god is saying to someone get up rise up i have been sent to take you out of your weakness if only you can surrender your life to him can we bow down our heads is there anyone here i said jesus this thing is killing me here but i'm here to say lord i surrender to you i want to help you i want to give you an opportunity jesus to be the leader to be the lord i told you whoever lord whoever controls you is the lord over your life how many want to make jesus lord over their life want to say jesus i want you to be the lord over my life why all earth are bow? you want to take that decision just raise up your hand you want to take that decision i say jesus i want you to come help me anyone i'm waiting anyone anyone saying jesus come into my life i need you to be my lord and also to be my savior jesus help me jesus help me come come god bless you sir god bless you come come anyone joining my brother come here come come somebody want to disgrace the devil you want to put the devil no stay here stay stand in the front anybody want to stand i say no just stay here and face me stand no, stay. And face me anyone is saying you are sincere enough to say no sin is in my life and sin is killing me and i want to say jesus come into my life anyone is doing this anyone want to join these people i say lord i surrender to you you know you said you surrender but you have gone again to pick up your life there are several times you said you gave your life to jesus but you have not acting it you have not been acting it you have gone there to pick up your life jesus is saying come and surrender again come and don't pick it when you give your life when you give you sold it to jesus there is a grace that help you to overcome your weakness and that is the grace that holy ghost brought anyone want to join this one i'm counting i'm counting you want to say jesus you want to put the devil you are thinking what will pastor think about me i care nothing because you know everyone is going to stand before god at the end including the pastor so god is seeing you god is looking at you are you born again or you just find a space in church all right i'm, I'm giving the last opportunity now can you come and join these people outside 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you in front, just close your eyes. And repeat and just repeat after me. I say, Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your word that you have sent to me. Dear Lord, today I confess my sin. I know I'm a sinner. I know I have sinned against you. But I'm here today. Please forgive me. Say, please forgive me. I'm sorry for my sin. As from today, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Dear Lord, be in charge of my life. I promise to live for you for the rest of my life. I won't let you down anymore. I will stay with you. I will walk with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Let me pray with you now. Just lift up your two hands to him. Father, thank you so much. Your spirit has drawn this one. We bless your holy name. Thank you for calling this one out of the men. Thank you for your word that is ringing in their hearts. Father, as they have come to you, please accept them. Forgive them of their sins and write their name in the book of life. Lord, you said, whoever the son of man said free is free indeed. I stand and I decree you are free indeed. The spirit of God continue to walk with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Can we celebrate this one? Please. There is someone at the back. Just meet them. And I know the Lord will bless you. If you have been blessed, shout hallelujah. Can we celebrate Jesus? If you have been blessed today, celebrate Jesus. So joyful people, I believe you all know your temperament now. Who can boldly tell us his, his, his own temperament over there? Among the, the joyful people, anybody? Okay. All right. Uh, let's please collect our offering while we do the announcement. But first, let's welcome the our friends that are worshiping with us for the first time. In the house today, you are worshiping with us here for the first time. Can we see you? Can you just wave your hand wherever you are seated? Today is your first time. Wow, wow, wow. You will, you're welcome. Can you please stand wherever you are? Can you please stand? Up? Please, just move forward. We have, a, we have a seat for you right here in front. Love you. you want to see you like I We're sure that you will always welcome the celebration center of hope on joy. We love you. We want to see you welcome. We're sure that you will always celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. We love you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. Okay, so quickly let's listen to our announcement. Media, are we ready? Hello there. We warmly welcome you all, especially our first-time worshippers, with love and joy. This is Upper Room Baptist Church Celebration Center. We are an assembly of celebrants who reign on earth and are heaven-bound. We welcome you to join us as we celebrate the reigning King, Jesus. Our services hold here in our auditorium at Rigba Bobo Phase 2, off of Father Road, Moway. Ogun State. We meet here every Sunday by 8.20 a.m. for Sunday school, worship service by 9 a.m. 
and Wednesdays by 6 p.m. for our word and prayer service. Holy Ghost Vibes Our monthly time out with the Holy Spirit holds every third Saturday by 7 a.m. in this auditorium. We also have our monthly national video tagged Night of Transfiguration every last Friday of the month at our headquarters located at 2A Davis Street, Obanlea Robusta, Demorin Road, K2, Lagos. Worship and Prophecy holds first day of every month as we pray ahead of each month of the year. Follow us on social media at URBC Celebration Center, Facebook and Instagram. Also turn on post notifications and deliberately engage our content. That is, like, share, repost, use our statuses and stories, and remember to tag us at URBC Celebration Center as you do so. See you at the next service. God bless you. So when is when are we having worship and prophecy? I can't hear you. So who will be there? Raise your hand if you'll be there. Can I see your hand up and wave it to Jesus? Come on. Some people are not waving their hands. Okay, you don't want to miss this uh, worship and prophecy. This edition of worship and prophecy is going to be very, very powerful. We are going to be praying. We are going to commit. We are going to be committing the month of November in the hands of God. Please don't miss it and don't come alone. Invite someone. Hallelujah. God bless us in Jesus' name. I also want who has missed uh, Holy Ghost vibes. You really miss Holy Ghost. Can I see your hand up? Wow. By God's grace, in the month of November, I believe strongly we are going to be having Holy Ghost vibes. It's going to be Holy Ghost vibes a time out where we just come around, we pray in tongues for the next for two, two hours. Am I right? Two hours, seven to, seven to nine. Please. On, it's going to be third Saturday of the month of November. Please plan to be there. It's going to be a wonderful time. Hallelujah. Okay, so uh, lastly, uh, if you are interested in being uh, being a member of our drama group in the church, please kindly wait behind to see Brother King. Brother King, can you please wave your hand at the back? Please look back. That's Brother King. If you want to be part of the group, please wait behind to see him. God bless you. If you want to join any ministry in the, in the, in the church, maybe God has been laying it on your mind to join any ministry in the church, try to see, try to see me after the service, and we'll talk about it. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, please, let's put our hands together as we welcome Pastor back to the podium. Come on, celebrate Jesus. So now I know my pastor better now. I know my pastors. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. The important part of the temperament, temperament is that it's spirit control temperament. You understand what I'm saying? So let the Holy Spirit be the control of your life. Amen. Uh, okay, and uh, workforce member, if you are a member of workforce in this church, can you please stand to your feet? Member of the workforce, can you stand to your feet? All right. All right. Okay, so please. Okay, can we all move to the choir side? Because I think this is where we have the. Can we all move to the choir side? member the workforce member please after the service just stay there don't go i beg we have a short meeting to discuss there's going to be workers day out and workers retreat workforce retreat in november 19 it's workforce week so workforce week, one of the workers will be the one to preach. I will just sit down to hear. Amen. It could be it could be anyone. It could be Ore that will preach. Amen. Then during the workers week, we are going to have workers retreat on a Friday night. And on the Saturday, which is on the 10th, we are going to have workers day out. Don't worry, we won't announce it. We'll announce it when we see and have a meeting. Amen. Then you are going to have workers, workforce appreciation and award service, which is going to be, okay, all this is going to happen in, the, in, in December. Amen. Then we have a lot to do 
and a lot of program is coming up. December, we are going to have medical outreach for the community. And there's going to be free shopping. You will come to shop with a, you get a cloth, you get food item in December. So November 26, we are going to have movie night. There's going to be movie night. Hallelujah. So November and uh, November 26, please take note. Then on the 27th, singles in the house, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay, how many of you are the first edition of singles dinner? Okay, we are going to have a father singles dinner night. Dinner. Amen. So that will be on the 27th of November. And I know God will do us well in Jesus' name. If you want to still be, you want to be part of the workforce, please wait after the service and see Brother Olumide. Can we rise up on our feet and just say thank you to Jesus for what he has done for us today? All right. I have this wonderful Samsung here. Okay, maybe it's a seed. It's a seed. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we say thank you to Jesus for what he has done for us? We are not going the same way the Lord has put his word to our, in our heart and it's going to stay forever in the name of Jesus. Like I said earlier, don't miss Tuesday and don't miss midweek service. Don't miss midweek service. Mid, midweek service have been very hot up. We have been considering faith and putting faith into work, not theory faith, practical faith. That has to do with our life in business, in war speaks, relationship, in getting things from heaven. And I know God will bless you. Can we say thank you to Jesus once again? Father, we bless you. We worship you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we want to say thank you to you. We thank you for this offering, most especially for those that have counted it worthy to give their tithes. Father, please, there are things will not be tight for them. In the name of Jesus. Father, the remaining percent in their hand out of their 10%. Lord, we pray that you will keep it and you expand it. And everyone that have come to church to offer an offering to you, Father, please accept it. As we go, this will go with us. Make it a remarkable week with blessings and testimony. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Can we share the grace and fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, there was something that Caleb said. Okay, I didn't even know that he caught that quote when I said it. Look at your neighbor. There is a scripture. Tell your neighbor there's a scripture with your picture. That's where your future is. When you see a scripture, say in the scripture, you have your future and your picture. Say get the scripture. Stay with the scripture for you to get your picture and get to your future. Tell your neighbor, now you are the talker. Say, neighbor, get into the scripture and find your picture to take you to your future. Say, neighbor, get into the scripture. Get your picture that will take you to your future. Say, neighbor, so when you see me in future, I'm walking in the picture that I caught in the scripture. Tap him and say, neighbor, I hope you will not jealous of me. When you see me in future is the picture that I caught from the scripture. So how do you cut a, how do you cut a picture, a future, your future? From where? In the scripture. So what do you do with scripture? I can't hear you. Between Instagram posts, like you know, Instagram lives, Facebook lives, and the scripture, which one is more important? Okay, let me put it this way between Instagram notification 
you know, some of you, while you carry your phone, the next thing you are looking for, what's the Instagram notification? As if it's a lot. You pay attention so much to Instagram notification, Facebook notification, than the scripture. So this time around, pay attention to what can make your life, and that's the scripture. So you don't just wake up in the morning and say you are going without reading the scripture. You know, our mommy, some of you that are on the group, every morning she will always post in his present devotion is for you to read. The scripture to read is there. Just read it. And you pray. Not Jesus, minus Jesus, minus Satan plus Jesus, and you start going out. No, don't do that. Stay with the scripture because that is where your future is. And you must have it as a picture. And I know the Lord will do you good. Amen. I celebrate you. God bless you. Can we celebrate Jesus? Hallelujah. Walk us.